Hi, welcome along to our latest Pulmonary Fibrosis Awareness Month video chat. I'm delighted today to be joined by Robert Crichton, who uh, lost his mom to pulmonary fibrosis and stars on Broadway. Welcome, Robert. Thank you. Good to talk to you. Um, tell me just a little bit uh, to start with about yourself um, and about the, the kind of shows um, you've been doing on Broadway and what you're working on currently. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm talking to you from actually New Jersey, but right on the river looking at Manhattan. Um, I grew up in, in Canada, but moved here to pursue my acting dreams, and I've been very lucky. I'm currently doing Frozen on Broadway, which is uh, a lot of people have heard of, which is great. It's my eighth Broadway show, so I've been very fortunate to make a living um, doing what I love to do. Sort of uh, consciously grateful that I'm living my dream right now. Yeah, I do a lot of television as well, episodic work here in New York. And um, yeah, and and I'm very happy to talk to you this morning because as you said, my mom passed away from this, this disease. It's been a long time now, 1994. Technology and treatments were very different then, but um, it's something that's still obviously very Im important to me to help, help out with. Were you in New York the time she was uh, diagnosed? I was, uh, in fact, when I was just graduating acting school, she came down with her best friend to see my final play. And um, I remember her friend saying to me on the street, she said, you have to walk a little slower. Your mom's having trouble with her breath. And that's the first indication I had that there was something uh, going on. And that was in February of 93. And she passed away in October of 94. So it wasn't, it was a, it was a, sadly a very quick process. Yeah. And uh, I think unfortunately for some people, it still is very quick because a lot of people are still diagnosed too late. Uh, mm -hmm. And as well as that, some people, we don't understand enough yet about the disease, why some people decline very quickly and others decline slowly. Um, yeah. She had, I remember the, the word sarcoidosis, that's originally what she was diagnosed with, and then what she actually died went, yes, from being short of breath to being on oxygen um, to being having a big tank. I remember being home the following Christmas, big tank in her house, and she went with oxygen anywhere she went in the home. And on prendazone, which was the only sort of treatment back then, steroids, which helped some people, didn't help others, didn't really help my mother. And uh, the only the only real cure at the time was a lung transplant. And 25 years ago now almost, the, that was the least successful form of um, transplants that, were, that they were doing. And my mom, my dad's a doctor, my mother, uh, you know, she made the decision that, th that they weren't going to go down that road. And uh, then her lung collapsed, she went in the hospital. I was in New York um, doing a show, flew home. My dad said, fly home. And I went home. I'm the youngest of six kids. We were all there. And uh, we all spent time with her that weekend. Um, and then she lived five more months, sort of taking half breaths, but very still stayed positive through it. And people would come to sort of encourage her and they'd leave totally inspired by how she was going through this process. But um, yeah, so it was uh, a challenging time, obviously, but um, I don't even remember what the question was, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, You've stayed very active in the in the area, so I know um, you're involved um, since the very inception of um, the Broadway Belts for the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation. Yes, uh, which is in and of itself an amazing New York evening and uh, filled with so much heart and big Broadway names who come and perform. Julie Halston is the one who initiated this this um, event. Uh, we started in a small sort of jazz club, and now it's grown to uh, filling, turning people away from a large New York City ballroom. And I think it's been something I've been very uh, pleased to do whatever I can to be involved with that. But I also think it's something that has tangibly, it's raised a lot of money. And I think uh, it's really tangibly helped certain areas in terms of setting up care centers um, around the United States and and you know, raising certainly raising awareness. Um, you know all the stats. I, I can't list them off the top of my head, but it's a disease that affects uh, so many people, and it's not as well known, or people aren't aware of it 
as aware of it as some diseases that are, uh, you know, much more, um, have a smaller sort of target. Uh, so it's, I think it's important to do what we can, especially as people in the public, you know, performers and that whatnot to help raise the, raise the awareness. And, and that raising of the awareness um, and the funding that goes to the pulmonary fibrosis foundation, others through, through the work of many people, um, I suppose there's now treatments available um, there's more um, pharma companies developing treatments. Yeah. There's, there's much better information. And, and you touched on lung transplant there as well. Um, lung transplant survival has got better since that time of your mom. So um, I suppose the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation and others are doing a lot of good work informing people and lobbying and other things. So the, yeah. the, the Broadway Belts and other initiatives is having a, a tangible impact. I think you're right. And I, it's been amazing over the eight, years we've done it, I think it's eight years now, uh, to hear every year the doctors come and speak about the developments. And, and it, it's real things. It went from eight, even eight years ago being, there's not much out there. We're trying to get people support and care and da, 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 now to actual um, treatments that are helping, you know, stem the symptoms of, of pulmonary fibrosis. And, and uh, that's amazing to me. Like it's, it feels like something if we keep pushing this hard, it's actually something that could be, they could find a, uh, a cure for or a way to treat it that, that uh, saved many, many lives. You know, it really feels like that's where it's headed. So we have to keep going. Yeah. And I think the, um, you know, we, we go to the, um, the, the big respiratory conferences. So the ATS in, in America, the ERS in Europe, which is just around the corner. Um, and, and definitely what, what people are saying is there is the potential, like you're saying, that the fibrosis could be halted or even potentially reversed if it's, if it's caught early enough. So, but that, that's very early. That's stage, amazing. But I think that's giving people hope that, that there is that possibility. And, you know, there's a lot of really good yeah. going on into this. Yeah, that's incredible. And it makes me want to just keep growing our, uh, we'll have to move out of the ballroom into a stadium next or something. <laughs> I want to keep growing it into because, Stadium. you know, it, it makes, exactly. Why not? It's good to dream. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so do you get back home to Canada much? I know um, is it you're from kind of near Toronto. Yes. Uh, you know what? It's tough. It's um, As an actor, it's not like you can just go away on weekends or fly up for uh, you know, right now, which is fun. I, I quite like being there. <laughs> um, but, but, uh, I don't get home as much as I, I'd like to, I'm in close touch, obviously, but no, I miss the homeland now and again, that's for sure. Um, but you, you probably like to get one up over the, the Americans, the time of the winter Olympics and any, anything sporting related. Oh, I am. Um, what's the word I am, uh, uh, is jingoistic the word, like when the Olympics are on, I got all my Canada gear. On. I'm, I'm a dual citizen now, so I can't really be, you know, if, if Canada gets knocked out, I'm very quickly on the United States wagon. But uh, yes, I am a proud Canadian. There's no question about, <laughs> about it. Excellent. Well, we had a little bit of break up on the line, so um, we'll probably um, um, end the chat there, uh, Robert. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for everything you're doing to help raise awareness and to raise no. funding for pulmonary fibrosis and uh, hopefully I'll make it to the Broadway Bells next year. Yes, I'm looking forward to meeting you, man. I'll see you. I'll see you there. Great. Thanks, Robert. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.